Good morning, guys, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. And today, I have the manager of Camp Able, Jamal Legion. Camp Able was founded to as a vacation camp for students who are deaf and hard of hearing and other students with disabilities. I also have, uh, as Jamal's interpreter, Ryan Houghton. So good morning, Jamal. How are you doing? Hello. Good morning, all. So can you tell me who is Camp Able? Or what is Camp Able? Okay. Camp, Camp Able A stands for active, B stands for body, So that's why we have Camp Able. It was established by a lady from Canada. Yeah, she was training in the Ministry of Education. You know, she was studying disability. And in her training, she established Camp Able. This was in 2002. Her name is Heather Moise. She established the camp. And what did they do in the camp? It was to encourage the deaf and hard of hearing teens and prepare them for life. And that is and what they want to do in the future and how they can establish themselves and become independent. Who, who are the governing bodies of Camp Able? Meaning, who are the leaders of Camp Able? At the moment, mm -hmm. most of the leaders were teachers from schools. That's what used to be before. And as time progressed, you know, Coast Guards, they became involved. And at the moment, for the first time, we have a manager who is deaf, who's a deaf leader. Awesome, and who is very competent, as I would say. Um, okay, so what type of activities um, do Camp Able, you know, um, have for students who are deaf and hard of hearing? And is it only for because what I read is the Caribbean, right? In both Caribbean. So is it just for Trinidad and Tobago? Or is it extended for students around the Caribbean? Okay, good question. That's a good question. So yes, in 2002 to now, we did a lot of traveling. We did went to St. Lucia, we went to Barbados, Antigua, Trinidad and Tobago, all these countries, deaf people from all these countries came together. And what did we do in the camp? We trained, we trained the deaf on how to learn the manners, how to eat with knife and fork. They got training in how to become leaders. They got leadership skills as young deaf people. They were also trained in learning how to iron because there are a lot of people who don't know how to iron. So that was taught to the deaf. You know, how to fold bed sheets, how to make your bed, how to exercise. Yes, how to eat, knife and fork. And this year, we are focusing more on speech, positive speech. So the theme is, I can. Yes, I can. Awesome. And can you tell us um, when would Camp Able start this year in 2023? And you know what would where it would be held and how persons can reach out to get involved. Okay, one second. All right. So this year, Camp Abel is starting in July the 17th to the 21st. It's a week. 
where is it going to be? In Separia. There's a center there. And who do you contact? Shade Walker. She is the assistant manager and the phone number is 469-0914 or 41. You can also contact Anessa Hamilton. Her phone number is 739-094. Again, 739-3094. And <laughs> um, uh, so you can contact them if you're a parent mm -hmm. looking for support or you want to send your children to a camp. We welcome, welcome. We are open. You know, and we can give you more information. How is Camp Able funded? And is there a uh, limit to the number of persons? Um, that can, is there, there is a limit in terms of intake per cycle? So. Mm -hmm. This year, mm -hmm. due to COVID, we were not really running. You know, we couldn't set up the camp, but we tried to limit it to about 40, 40 children this year. So we're not allowing international students, no. We're just focusing locally on deaf and hard of hearing in Trinidad and Tobago and providing training. So our limit is 40. Okay, and as the manager, because I know you're a newly appointed manager, where do you see Camp Evil going? you know, in the future? Well, as manager, at the moment, my goal looks like the deaf, teens and preteens getting training so that in the future, all in the Caribbean can have access to better leaders. They have better, again, more, better advocacy. They can stand up for themselves, have better education. And most deaf would be able to stand up, have their own businesses, manage themselves, be with a team. That is my goal. That's what my goal looks like now. And in the future, we will be successful. Okay, and last question, you know, so who would be the stakeholders involved in this camp able to support the children? And as you spoke about in terms of daily activities, you know, how they could function, you know, in terms of chores, exercising, health and stuff like that. Who would be involved? And also, um, is there any website or Facebook persons can reach out to? Mm -hmm. Okay. So those that are involved, are school teachers, mm -hmm. and we have, you have some qualified deaf individuals who are also involved. Mm -hmm. We have the Coast Guards. We have Army members who are also involved. We have some parents that are also involved. Mm -hmm. We have social workers that are involved as well. Also, our Facebook page, you just type in Camp Able TT. Also, we have a website, Camp Able Trinidad and Tobago. We do have that. Awesome, Jamal, Rian. I want to say thank you so much for coming and sharing information about Camp Able. Based on what you said, I think it definitely it will add value to students who are deaf and hard of hearing and have an impact in terms of their daily lives, and I wish you all the best in terms of this year, this year's upcoming Camp Able. And guys, please sign up on, you know, um, reach out via Facebook and go on their website. I'm sure you will get further details. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this week's segment of Unique Not Different. As I always say, be good, do good. Bye, guys.
Thanks. Thanks.